Hi guys, so our next experiment is direct ABO blood grouping tube method. So the first thing that we need to do is prepare three clean test tubes and label as follows. Anti-A, Anti-B, and Anti-AB. Take note guys that labeling should be done with care since clerical errors are the most frequent errors in the blood bank. Next is we're going to place two drops of appropriate reagents. So, anti-A, two drops, one, two. Next we have anti-B, one, and lastly, for anti-AB, we have the O0. So, two drops. One, two. When adding the reagent and the red cell suspension, use a free-falling drop, meaning uh, the side of the tube must not touch the dropper. So, next, add one drop of 2-5% to red cell suspension on each tube. So, one drop. Mix the reagent and RBC suspension and centrifuge at 3,400 revolution per minute for 15 seconds. Never open the lid of the centrifuge before the spinning motion stops. So once it's okay, After the centrifugation, gently resuspend the RBC button and then observe for agglutination or hemolysis macroscopically. Since anti-A and anti-AB shows a strong result, we're going to view the mixture of anti-B under the low power objective of the compound microscope to check if there is a weak reaction. We are going to check the anti-B reaction under the microscope. So for the grading of the reactions, our anti-A is 4 plus since meron siyang 1 big clump, negative 4 anti-B, and 3 plus for our anti-AB. So the final answer for our direct ABO blood grouping is the patient's 
uh, blood type is blood type A.